Hello everyone, welcome to the group discussion exam. My name is Mahfuzul Haq and I am your examiner today. At first, I will assign you to a room where you need to show your passport to verify your identity. After this, you will be redirected in this group again. And then I will give you instruction and a topic to discuss in the group. I will not participate in the group, but I will be here to check your performance. Now it is time for the identity verification. So after this, you will be redirected to a room to verify your identity. Means you should show your passport to the passport checker. Okay. And after this, uh, okay, you are back again in the group discussion. So now I will give you instruction. Everyone must participate in the discussion to pass in the exam. You have 15 minutes to discuss in the group. And uh, one person, or one participant can speak maximum three minutes. So your discussion topic for today is, I will uh, repeat this twice. And I will also put the title in the chat. So you can also check. So your discussion topic for today, global energy crisis and how to solve this issue. Global energy crisis and how to solve this issue. So you have two minutes to think about this topic now. And when I will say you, your time is start now, you will start discussion. So now you have two minutes to think or to take points about this title or about this topic. So guys, um, I would like to start uh, with your kind permission. May I let in? All right, go ahead. All right, okay, go this on. is Shimul Parvez from Bangladesh. Thank you for thank you for this opportunity, guys. Okay, um, our today's topic about global energy crisis causes and solution. So, uh, what is global uh, energy crisis and what are the uh, solution? Uh, the global energy crisis refers the refer to the challenge of meeting the world's increasing energy demand while also reducing our reliance on non-renewable source of energy. Here are some of the main causes I would like to mention. The first I would like to add the fossil fuel depletion. So uh, you know uh, our population is growing and uh, economy growth is uh, getting higher. So um, you know that's why obviously uh, people are using so many fossil fuels so it's you know uh, decreasing the amount so we have to uh, fix it up like obviously it's a it's also a cause using fossil fuel i mean fossil fuel depletion and another cause i would like to mention energy demand growth what is energy demand growth? Uh, the world energy demand is increasing as population uh, previously I mentioned and economic growth is continue. So definitely it's one of the main uh, causes to uh, global in, in energy crisis. On the other hand, the third point is like climate change concern. You know, nowadays we can see global warming, climate in changing. So uh, for that, the negative environmental impact and non-renewable energy source is causing concern about the long-term sustainability of our energy system. At this moment, guys, I, I would like to request you add your important discussion. I'll be back. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much, please. Can I go ahead? 
Can everybody hear? Can you hear yeah, me? Yeah, please? yeah, I can hear clearly. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much for this opportunity. My name is Sakimba Reboyedi from Nigeria. I would like to discuss this uh, our topic today, global energy crisis, the causes and the, probably the solution. You know, what I see here about global energy crisis, you know, all over the world, there are crises of energy due to one or two reasons. And one of the major reasons is, you know, the you know, population, you know, the population is increasing day in, day out. And, you know, when population increases, there will, there will be demand for energy. And energy is like, you know, we use energy to do so many things. And at the same time, the maintenance of energy to maintain energy is a crisis by others, you know, by countries, by people. Sometimes people don't know how to manage energy, and at the same time, you know, when you look at what the world is going on presently, you know, there are some few years ago, two, three, three years ago, there was COVID 19, which causes the world to tremble. And you know, like Russia, you know, there was slow, you know, block block the you know, exportation of you know, gas to so many European countries and all over the world. And at the same time, energy crisis has been caused by you know, mismanagement. You know, like, like, you know, where as likely, you know, in some areas, in, for example, my area in Nigeria, where so many people don't care how to, ma how to manage their lives. People go to the offices, go to work, they switch, switch on their lives and all these are crises that are causing, and all these are really causing crises in the in the world. So that I would like to probably discuss about the you know the few solutions. If you don't mind, if I can go ahead with few solutions. You can you know buy you know, relax of fossil fuels. When we rely on fossil fuels, you know you know it is very bad. And this 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 present 21st century. We need to go into sustainable energy, sustainable transportation, you know, sustainable buildings, renewable energy. Where we have, you know, material, where we have the natural resources. So, and you know, most of these natural resources, like we have the sun, we have the water flowing, and these are green energies, which is which is sustainable and which is safer. So, when people know how to manage energy and even though there are there is increase in population people should also have the knowledge people should also have the understanding to manage the crisis so i think with this i would like to have a pause here for my others to contribute thank you very much Anyone would like to participate in the discussion? Uh, yeah, obviously, if there is no one, like I would like to add a few more points Ag according Victor's discussion. I totally agree your discussion. I, I, I support you and it was nice discussion. And I would like to add uh, one more point. So we have discussed about the crisis causes. Uh, in the meantime, uh, we have to think about what are the solve. I mean, the, how to how can we solve this problem as well? So first of all, uh, I've been watching, I have been listening for a long time. People are saying about you know how to uh, I mean how to uh, you know uh, I mean trans uh, re how to uh, discover innovate ne renewable energy so source. When I when I was talking about this, so first thing come in my mind, uh, so alternative energy system. Uh, so we can, uh, you know, for this uh, uh, problem, we can uh, work on this area. I mean, solar energy, wind energy, hypo, hy hydropower can help the can help to reduce our, um, uh, you know, difference on uh, dependence and on fossil fuels. Well, on the other hand, uh, 
our government can uh, take many step as well. Uh, they can uh, invest uh, resourcing area. I mean, resourcing area. They can uh, make many re resource uh, in this fossil fuel area, and they can concern. I mean, uh, they can award to uh, our people that yeah, we have this amount of uh, uh, fossil fuel, so you should be careful to use this kind of energy as well. And uh, when we know about our future, then uh, obviously I would mention one another point, the current situation, inflation. Uh, I do agree that inflation also happening uh, depends on this area as well. So uh, after inflation, everything is getting expensive. So we have to think, re, uh, we have to reconsider and we have to think, we must have to think about using of fossil fuel. So we have to uh, discover, we have to uh, find out the alternative way as well. And we have to be careful to use. And obviously we don't have, we can't waste uh, uh, fossil fuel. So yeah, definitely for ecosystem, fossil fuel is not good. Uh, yeah, that's all I want to add. Anyone, if anyone want to add more points, thank you. Okay. Hello, everyone. Can you hear me? All yes. Right. Um, yes. Um, my name is Betiku Victor. I'm from Lagos, Nigeria, and it's my great pleasure to meet you all and to be part of this group discussion. Um, I mean, the two speakers have really raised a very valid point. And I also want to retreat on the uh, on the war going on between Ukraine and um, and Russia as one of the reason why we are having a global crisis and uh, um, why we are having a um, why we are having a cr this crisis on um, global energy. You know, like it's been said that uh, Russia as is one of the largest exporter when it comes to crude oil and and gas and um, when the war between your Russia and Ukraine started um, around February um, 24th, precisely 24th of February 2021, mm -hmm. it has led to a lot of countries like the EU, the United States, Canada, and all, I mean, the G5 countries uh, to, to lay, um, to put, uh, to put, all of these countries have come together to put some sanctions on, uh, on, on, on Russia, who has the largest, who is one of the largest country in exportation of crude oil, in exportation of uh, of, uh, of, uh, of energy, uh, of gas, in in order to uh, for to other countries and developing countries. So that has actually caught that has actually caught a lot of decrease. It has caught a lot of decrease in 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 and and, and led to a lot of crisis in in the. And the crude uh, in in uh, a lot of, uh, to a lot of crisis in the global energy a uh, sector and also one th one of the uh, one of the solutions that I pre I I I I, I, I my subjects or in my opinion that my hand that I put an hand to to this crisis is if the same government could actually come together put hands together and see the way where we can actually manage our energy like Mr I think but I think but they and Mr. Pavels, I don't know if I actually pronounced the name correctly. They've raised, uh, they've raised a very valid point about management of energy, like how we do manage our energy. More especially in, in our country, Nigeria, we do share the same experience where, you know, most times people leaving their offices and leaving their home and leaving all their appliances on. If there is a way that uh, they, if there is a public sanitation to people on how to manage this energy to let them know that, oh, after leaving the office, you are supposed to put some of these appliances off, and failure to do so, like maybe there's a, there, uh, maybe there's a, a there's a way that they can sanction whoever it is that 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 refuses to put off his or uh, appliances or before leaving the office. So managing it right, so to allow a even distribution of power will be one of the we we will be one of the solutions that I think that I believe that 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 any government or or individual or 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 industry can can um, uh, can apply in order to to in order to solve this uh, global uh, global crisis uh, issues. 
So Victor, well, uh, uh, could I please uh, go on? Yeah, please Victor, go on. Uh, Victor mentions the war between Russia and Ukraine. I think it is a very good example because everyone has noticed how we are dependent on fossil fuels, on using this, uh, this fossil fuels like uh, oil and, some, and so on. So also I would prefer to say that Russia is also very, it is also a very painful thing for Russia because we also notice it and the inflation is going to raise, it is obviously. So also I would like to say that the country of third world still are still using uh, coal for them. So it is just a devastating feel, thing for our environment. It is extremely important, <clears throat> sorry for us. <clears throat> so <clears throat> the best decision for us, I think it is uh, uh, using renewable sources like wind, like solar and so on. And also I would prefer to say that uh, Elon Musk, like Tesla, I think everyone have heard about this and I really appreciate the idea about it because he created a car which using only uh, electric cars. I think it is a good opportunity to just <clears throat> to rethink how important for us to use uh, to just economy our fossil fuels. And also, I would really, I'm really impressed with, sorry, Victor, or maybe I, I'm sorry, mispronounce your name, but Russia, it is the largest country in the world, and uh, Russia is uh, supplying a lot of f fossil fuels for Europe and for the United States, Canada, you're absolutely right, you have a point. So according to this bar, Europe and the United States just refuse to use our resources. So it is like, it is a very devastating fear for Russia, both for Russia and both for Europe and other countries. So I think just everyone have to summon every country because it is extremely important for our us just to use our renewable sources for us just for hitting our homes for cars because there are a lot of cars and we make a lot of pollution and it just can destroy our world and our pollution so Paris, sorry i interrupted you would you like to do you agree with me or maybe you have something to say and also i would like to i for completely forgot to uh to present myself i'm from russia and my name is julie and I'm extremely glad to hear to be here, to be here. Yes, thank you, okay, uh, Julia. I'm totally. Okay, thank you, guys. You Your time is over. We have already uh, 15 minutes, so uh, now we can have like a Q and A session. So before we go to Q and A session, so I will mention like one or two points. Uh, in the beginning of discussion, okay, uh, Mr. Parvez, uh, he started very nicely. It was good. And then after he uh, finished his speaking, uh, then we, I saw like uh, you guys were like not talking or stopped. Uh, it took a few seconds to come back to the discussion. So when somebody will uh, complete his discussion, you can like uh, tell like if I can uh, if I can start talking or you can you can introduce yourself so then you don't have to wait because you have 15 minutes so I would say like you can speak at least two to three minutes when you start to speak so in that case uh, whenever uh, they will check your speaking so they can see like okay this guy has good speaking skill or the uh, speaking is relevant to the topic of course it has to be relevant to the topic and everyone has discussed uh, i think it was good everyone has good speaking skill and uh, it was relevant to the topic sorry i have a question i think what he's trying to say if i'm trying to understand his message is like for instance if someone that is speaking and the person, whatever the person is, the, uh, the speaker is actually speaking out of point in the group discussion. Maybe because being the first, you know, like the first speaker will have a, a very good impression on every others. Like it's the one that is to direct how the conversation is going to go. So if that's such a, I mean, the first person to speak is now speaking out of point. Like, is it okay for me that I have a better idea or a better understanding on that topic to? interrupt the person like can i pick it up from there? i think I, that's I what think he's trying uh, to say you can uh, agree and disagree 
with somebody. Okay. So, for example, if somebody like is talking not relevant to the topic, uh, he can like speak like one or two minutes and three minutes. When you will speak, then you can tell, okay, uh, I have uh, like I uh, disagree with one point with the Parvez. He mentioned this, but I think this should be like this. So you can improvise or you can uh, agree also like with a point with somebody or you can also disagree. But if you disagree, you, uh -huh. also, you can also like tell why you disagree with this point or what do you think. So basically uh, the point is they will check your speaking skill, how you speak and how relevant you speak with the topic. Uh, it doesn't matter like if you disagree with someone or if you agree with someone. You can do it, uh, but main main point is your speaking skill. All right, so I, I have a question here, and um, I, one thing I noticed during the during the discussion was, for instance, like you have okay, th this is four of us here that having this conversation, and um, during the group discussion we both have almost the same idea, like almost the same point to share. Just like, you know, I was uh, buttressing what uh, Julia is saying and also as what Aki, Aki, sorry, Mr. Aki, um, I'm trying to get your name. Aki Bade, yeah, what Mr. Aki Bade is saying and as well what Pave is trying to say. So now if the four of us in the group has similar ideas to share, like, so is it okay for us to, you know, okay, I, I think, but and have a different way of explaining it. I don't know if you get my point, but it's the same point, just like we are talking about global yeah, warming, I think I climate think I, change. I understood what, what you are trying to say. So basically, yeah. the points would be the same for a group discussion. <clears throat> like everybody will come up with like solution like wind, wind power, uh like solar power or maybe uh renewable electricity something like this so basically you can improvise the same thing like you can add with like okay in addition to parvis okay. i would also like to okay. add something okay let's go with the flow so you can you must speak remember to speak at least two minutes so they can okay. uh just your speaking skill so if you just stop like julia was like she was like at the end she uh spoke something but she was like yeah, i was thinking uh i have to tell her to start speaking because if you don't speak you will fail definitely there, there is no other cause so you must speak so anything else i think we are almost in so we have to yeah i have question i have question so uh, brother, I question, just yeah. uh, I, I, I wanted to ask you something like what are the important parts should we focus and is there any extra mark when you are leading the tree team or when you are interrupting when are good at communicative. So uh, what area are you going to advise us focus on practice on and well, don't I do this, 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 this. Few points like communication, of course, this is very important like how you communicate with others like if everyone can understand you in the discussion this is important so if you can speak clearly like i think everybody here uh, spoke very clearly so but i see today like you all of you are good at speaking so communication skill was good so this is important that communication skill and to speak clearly Accent doesn't matter. I think accent doesn't matter because they will understand because uh, there might be people from India, Bangladesh, Nigeria, or Russia, or all over the world. So accent doesn't matter. You need to speak clearly what you are saying because they will check it later also, like how you spoke with others. And uh, influencing other or leading in teams, I, I don't think this will give you any points. But Okay, if you can, like influence others by speaking, this is good. But I don't think there is any points from my perspective. So these two things, communication with everyone and uh, 
clear speaking and relevant to the topic. You must say something relevant to the topic, like energy solution or whatever it was. Okay, uh, thank you guys for joining to this discussion. I'm really, really happy Hi, to help you. I hope. Thank you so much for having us. We'll help you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Raya. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Thank you guys and thank have you. a nice day. If you have any question, always comment in the video on my YouTube channel. Yeah, okay, if I email you, so I'm gonna get probably the answer from you. I would like, yeah, of, I wish. Of course you can email me and uh, I will try to answer if you have any questions. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, thank, thank you very much for, for the time. Bye-bye.